Hello, this is Mike Lively, and we're in the Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. And when you first look at this studio, it may look a little bit daunting, but I actually think it's really great and easy to use. And we're going to show you how to use it, but I want to talk about a tremendous resource, and that's the online books that is offered by Microsoft. It's amazing, and uh, it should have come with the full install. So let's see if it's there. So I'm going to go down to my Start menu, and when I go there, I'm going to go to uh, All Programs. And let's take a look at... Um, Microsoft SQL uh, 2008. And I don't see the books online. Where is it? And so what I'm going to do is actually install it. So I can go to uh, Configuration Tools and let's look at um, SQL Server Installation Center. This is a great place to go if you're missing something or you need something installed or you want to upgrade your tools. So we're actually in the installation center, and we can see hardware and software, security documentation, online release notes, setup documentation, just a lot of stuff. You're very rich. And at the bottom, we see upgrade documentation. Let's go there. So we're actually looking at uh, the uh, Upgrading Server 2008 uh, tab, and here's our server SQL books online, so let's click on that. And you can see there's a number of topics here. Let's see if we can get this downloaded into our system. So what I've done, I've opened up a copy of Google and I put Books Online SQL 2008. Let's go ahead and search. And this gives you the opportunity to actually download it and install it. So let's click Download. And let's save it. And what you're going to do is once that download is complete, you're going to double click on it and install it. And then it should appear in your documentation. And you should be able to pin that to your taskbar. So now that we've downloaded the MSI install for Books Online, let's go ahead and double click on it. And let's run it. Let's go ahead and click the next button, uh, read the agreement, and if you agree with it, accept it. And hit next. And go ahead and install. And hopefully, fingers crossed, this should put books online where it's supposed to be. And then we can pin it to our taskbar. All right, after taking a coffee break, the uh, books online is installed, so hit finish. And let's go take a look and see if it's in our menu bar. So hit start. And let's go to uh, all programs. And we're going to go to our folder named Microsoft Server 2008 R2. And now we see documentations and tutorials. And there's our books online. And there's our SQR Server tutorials. Let's go ahead and right click and pin this to the taskbar. So I'm going to pin this to the taskbar. And we'll be able to access it readily. And you should because there's tons of great things on books online. Let's go and click on that. We're actually going to take a look at books online and actually discuss how to use it. There's a lot of stuff here. And the more use you make of it, the better database programmer you'll be. And just to draw your attention real quick, at the bottom, there's three very important tabs. There's a Content tab, an Index tab, and a Help Favorite tab. And we're going to show you how to use all three of these. So very quickly, I'd like to show you a little demo of online books and how you can use it. So let's go ahead and go to our little taskbar and click on Books Online. And what I want to show you is how I would use these three tabs down here, Contents, Index, and Help Favorites. So in the Contents tab, there's tons of material, getting started, database engine, integration services, uh, replication, and so on. And uh, you can open up those different uh, titles and look at different uh, topics. But also, you can go to Index and search by Index. So if you need to know, for example, about SQL injection, which is one of my favorite topics, you can go to that. And here's a detailed article on SQL injection, including code snippets. And I would like to bookmark this and use it often. So I can come up here and click on Add to Help Favorites. And when I do that, it actually sticks it into my Add to Help Favorites. So, so from now on, when I need to find that particular article, I can just go to Add to Help Favorites you know, and have my favorites in that place. So this is really a great resource. You need, to get, you need to get in the practice of using it every day. It's vast, and it's better than the web. And so you need to spend some time with it, learn about it, learn how to use it, and enhance your skills while you use it. Well, this was Mike Lively. Hey, thanks for listening, and we're going to move on.